Today, you will be able to find the area of circles and sectors using formulas and real-world problems. Hello, I'm Anthony Pizzo. And I'm Ryan Brook. And as you can see, it's raining outside. So uh, today we're going to um, find the area of this shot put circle over here. We're going to find the area of circles and sectors, and the camera's gonna fall over in a second. Let's, uh, let's take over to Ryan over here while I fix the camera. All right. First, measure the diameter. We now know the diameter measures 85.5 inches. Divide it in half and you have your radius. Now that you have the radius, plug it into the pi r squared formula and now becomes pi 42.75 inches squared. Once you plug in that equation to your calculator, you have your area. In this case, our area is 5,755 inches squared. This is how much room you have to complete your throw. Now we're going to take a look at sectors. A sector is a portion of a circle enclosed by two radii and an arc. The formula for finding the area of a sector is pi r squared times the central angle over 360. Now, Ryan is going to explain to us how to find the area of this particular sector of the throwing circle. I drew a model on the board to better understand of what the sector looks like. So in this case, our area would be 5,755, and you multiply that by 90, which is the angle of this arc over 360, to finally get the answer of 1,438 inches squared. This is how you find the area of a sector. All right, that's all, folks. All right, I'm Anthony Pizzo. And I'm, I'm Ryan Brook. And um, that's how you find the area of circles and sectors using the pi r squared formula. Have a good day.